So, yeah, what's going on, everyone? We are going to show you the replays for the Limit 1 festival that ended. And a couple of replays from other stuff, because I really can't be asked to make more of these. So we're just going to show off these tryout dual replays first. Skill drain. So this was way back when during the whole skill drain tryout duel. All I could really do was set and pass. And this guy opens up a rage of eyes of blue and literally YOLOs everything in order to play three blue eyes white dragons. I'm not even sure if I could have stopped that. Because it just ignored everything else I was able to do. But I ruined this entire man's career. The rest of that is just tedious weather painter stuff, so I'm just going to speed this up so we don't aren't here all day. I used the Water Painter deck because Water Painters could still activate their effects through Skill Drain. Which means they could still gain advantage. Like that. And my guy literally destroyed his whole, whole hand, so there was really nothing else he could do. Eliza Blue wasn't going to save him. I just decided to XC something for the heck of it. Oh, oh, that's what happened. Right, I got rid of my skill drain, and he literally banished his skill drain with um, Raging Eyes of Blue, so now it's a regular duel. That's why I thought it was safe using Maiden Eyes of Blue. Well, that's why I had this negate. It was not much for Blue Eyes deck. Three copies of Rage Eyes of Blue. Yeah, that talk about Yolo. That was just a cool car for this guy to use. Alright, I'm not going to bother showing the other dry tools. Let's get to the festival matches. They're not very long because... Most of this is he's showing off. Only time you're ever probably going to see someone use a replay with Rage with Eyes of Blue. And hey, you show who goes first this time in the replay. I did not notice that before. That's new. But this is a cash tier player. So they start with Cashier Ogre, then search for Cashier Preparation, and set three. For Limit 1, I used Dragon Link, so I normal summoned Chamber Dragon Maid, which was negated by Solemn Strike. So Dragon Link, with everything being limited to one, can still work pretty beautifully as long as you get everything you need. In this case, I used a bunch of extenders, like Dragon Maid stuff, and Where I support Cash Tier being Cash Tier, it'll do your Cash Tier thing. By uh, Link Off, Knock the Vision, and what is it for Heroptic Seal? They have any spheres. And my opponent just folds because they had nothing to do. That's just the way it's going to go. This guy summons Scare Claw Balone. 
and links off to summon Scareclaw Lightheart. Then he gets Primeval Plant Rakephobia to search for another Scareclaw monster. Then that Scareclaw can be social summoned, and then he gets to add Scareclaw Twinsaw. Then he plays Arrival to social summon another monster, but that's five monster summons so I can nibber him. He gets a Tealment out. And that's all he can do. He can't even really recover We you think about it. I know summon Black Metal Dragon in order to link off for Striker Dragon. Then I could add boots to then I could add two cards to my deck to my hand. And play Noctovision Dragon again. Get Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. And boot sector boot sector launch. But that gives me Dragon Knight Romulus as well. Romulus lets me... Oh, I get to draw a card as well with Noctovision Dragon. Noctovision can get you so much material if you use it properly. Then Dragon Ravine. Discard Starly Safri so it can be loaded for the graveyard. World Legacy, Safri in the graveyard. Then do that for Stardust. That's a thing. Boot Sucker Launch. Dragon Maid Hospitable, Special Summon Dragon Maid, send Chamber Maid to the Graveyard, Special Summon Chamber Maid, use Chamber Maid's effect to get Dragon Maid Tidying, then destroy Nibiru to get a monster I can link off with. And I'm gonna go for Nightmare Unicorn, specifically because I can use Unicorn's effect to send Dragon Maid Tidying to the Graveyard to get rid of the Nib token. After that, I can look up Unicorn and Chamber Dragon Maid. For Access Code Talker. Then, I can select Summon Borlode Savage Dragon. This is like the best case scenario for this deck. Having enough material in your graveyard to power up Borload and give him as many negates as you can. Because I never get another Borload that strong during this event. Really insane. And as you can see here, these duels take a long time as well. Also, in Chamber Dragon Maid to get Dragon Maid Hospitality. Link off for Striker Dragon. Add Sector Launch. Play World Legacy Guard Dragon. As many times as you can, try to make link offs of Dragon Knight Romulus. Revi your main combo is staying. In, um, your main combo with this deck is getting Striker out, then finding a way to get to Romulus. At that, you can get Ravine and Boop Scepter launch. The Ravine here is to send Absorotor Dragon to the graveyard, and let Absorotor Dragon give you Rocket Tracer. Then Scepter launch gives you Rocket Tracer on the field, and then you can destroy Scepter launch for Rocket Tracer. I thought Burst Dragon had a different effect, which is why I used it. But really, at the end of the day, I also need to find some way to hit that car in the graveyard. Then I set Forbidden Droplet. Despia and Brandon. Brandon opening as well, which I negate. Really, the fact that this is what they opened up with was really lucky for me, because they only had one Brandon opening two. And that stopped their whole play. If you get Dragon Link set properly, now you can force a lot of scoops. This one's a little funny, but it takes a while to get there, so it says a loss, but my opponent is the one that 
that uh, disconnected after they were losing. So what the game will do instead here is show me as the proper winner. The Bioless to Rebellion is discarded to search by a steel Magnum Hut, then Dragon Maid Hospitality summons Chamber. Chamber lets me add Dragon Maid Tiding, then I link off Chamber for Striker Dragon. So I can add Sector Launch. Quick Launch is played in order to get me Rocket Caliber, and that is solely so I can link it off for Romulus. Romulus adds Dragon Ravine. Ravine, discard the trap card, Absorouter Dragon, Absorouter adds Rocket Tracer, Gold 7 Tracer, destroy Ravine, get Rocket Recharge, then banish the trap card to summon a chamber, link off chamber and knight, SP Little Knight, Biolestial Magnumut, summons itself to the graveyard, Borload Savage, is a savage who, you know, links off that. But then I tribute Magmut to Rebellion in defense mode so I can protect myself from Lightning Storm. And I put Brand Beast up here. And boy, am I glad I chose Branded Beast. Cashier Riseheart sends cards to his graveyard. By Negate It. Then he activates two, his uh, primeval planet per Loreno. He synchros off Reinhardt and Mana DM Torrid for Mana DM Triscuta. Then I SP Little Knight Triscuta off. They go for Tierlin's Cash Tira. <clears throat> Discard more stuff from their deck. Clear a new world. Destroy Kashtira. Tyrmid's Kashtira. And just do more stuff to get Vicious Astraloud. Unfortunately for them, Branded Beast can be used now. Since my Drag Savage was going to be destroyed anyway, it's a net loss for me. Net loss. My Lesser Rebellion, regained, then I summon Brandon May, get back my Resin. Savage Dragon is back. Let's go in for the attack. My opponent tries to use Mending and Breakheart, but I counter attack with SP Little Knight again. And basically, the only thing you could use um, Breakheart on was to destroy SP Little Knight with the Secret Summon effect. But at this point, he surrenders. The connection failed on their end, not mine. I genuinely did not do anything to cause myself to lose here. Summoned. Tying to the graveyard. Striker. Nocto Vision Dragon. Yeah, okay. Nocto Vision Dragon. Sector launch. Romulus. Nocto Vision Dragon. Let's draw. Romulus searches the field spell. Ravine. Discard. Useless five frame gear to get Absol Router. Absol Router gets rocket. Banish the trap card to get Polar. Then Red Eyes Darkness. Then, Esperol Knight, and Savage Dragon. Change of Heart, negated because it's Change of Heart, seriously. Magical Meltdown, alright, Alistair. Alistair is played, Invocation, <clears throat> Invoked Mechibra. I could have probably done something with Little Knight to get rid of Mekhybra, but I don't know. <clears throat> Red Eyes, Black Metal Dragon, 
Alistair Invoker, only in the great, doesn't really do him anything. Spirit, like, right, I don't your spirit keeps him alive longer than anything else he's going to do with his um, other cards. Then I lose SP Little Knight. Then I negate. So I don't lose Little Knight in the graveyard. And that's going to be the key to my victory because. Ragman's Totality. Dark, Dark Charmer. Get Rise Black Meteor. Come an Alastair. Dragon Mate Little Bait. And Borland. Which is huge. Iris Sword Soul. Sorry, I have Triple Tactics talent, buddy. A, he scoops because I was going to win. Anyone could tell I was going to win that one. Last but not least. Dryant. This one can play at normal speed. Rebellion adds Magnum Hut, quick launch, and drop it, saying quick launch. The gate is Zodiac's ability to pop one monster I have. I found another Zodiac deck and lost to it, so this is nice. By Steel Dispater. Very rare card for me to summon. Striker Dragon summoned. <clears throat> then I also summon Dispater. Or this. Red Eyes. Then, what's the character there? Magnum Woods. Oh, that's right, just win. <laughs> yeah, I had the gate here too, but it wasn't necessary. That's pretty much all I have for these. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. It's a little on the short side, but it was better off this way because I've been on a Mega Man streak this week, if you couldn't tell. Just had other things in my mind. Speaking of which, yeah, you'll be getting replays of the other Mass Duel event soon as well.